Look, if your podcast isn't generating the business growth you're hoping for, and you're not able to turn your passion into profits, it's because of one reason. You're treating it like a hobby. If this is you, and you're wanting to actually make a living from your podcast, or use it to help drive real business results, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the absolute simplest way to turn your podcast into a client magnet, helping you build your list and attract new customers every single day like clockwork. And no, you don't have to worry about wrestling with elaborate lead magnets, long downloadable PDF guides, or crafting countless intricate squeeze pages with endless optimization. Thanks to this new AI powered tool, there's literally three simple steps to follow and in just a few clicks, you'll be able to turn your existing podcast into a list building, lead generating machine that's gonna allow you to actually build a real brand and business from your podcast. And you don't even have to record any new content for this to work. You just follow the three simple steps I'm gonna walk you through here, and it'll be all set up and running automatically for you. If that sounds good, let's not waste any more time. Just smash the thumbs up button and let's get right into it. For step one, it's very simple. You're going to import your podcast library. So for this, we've got our man, Stu McLaren, his Marketing Your Business podcast. For the sake of this, I'm going to assume you already have a Sergi account. If not, just click the link down below and you can set one up in a few clicks. You can even sign up with your Google. It's super easy. All right, and this is where it's gonna bring you to. This is the dashboard. Now, what we want is to go here to the library, we want to import your podcast, okay? So there's two ways to go about this. You can upload this manually to the library if you've got all the files on your computer, but that's slow and boring and no one really wants to do that. We're gonna to go to apps and if you have this on, you know, Apple Podcasts or what have you, you can just click this. You can add your podcast, enter the URL for, you know, your podcast and that will bring it up and you'll be able to add that as a new podcast. But we have your marketing your business already added here. And now we have this in the library. This is what it's gonna look like when you first sync your podcast with it. You're gonna have to come in here and you're gonna have to import the ones that you want to include in this, but that's all you do. You just you know click the import button. That's gonna take a little bit of time for it to process because it's gotta transcode things. It's gotta generate the captions for you and all of that sort of stuff. Once that is done, that is step number one. Super easy, right? Click of a few buttons. Now, step two is we are going to create your podcast chat bot. And the way we do that, we come to apps once again, and we are gonna use Searchy Wisdom. So this makes it so simple. It's basically like creating a chat GPT like chat bot but specifically for your podcast content. So if you're someone like our man Stu here, who has you know 200 something episodes on his podcast, there's a lot of content that he's covered in there. What this plugin will allow someone to do, if they have a question about episode six, right? Or that is answered in episode six, but it's currently on episode 297. They can come to this chat bot and they can say, you know, what was that thing about, uh, you know, a success path? Or what was that thing about, um, you know, three steps for every membership. And they're gonna type that into the chat bot and it is going to go through all of the information in all of the podcasts that you've imported to this. And it is going to generate a response. It's gonna summarize all of that content and generate a response. And then it's also going to have references to the specific podcast episodes and the timestamp of exactly where those answers are coming from. It's insanely, insanely powerful. And unlike a lot of other videos out there that, you know, teach you how to set up these AI tools and plugins and things, and you have to, you know, go through and code all this crazy stuff and spend hours. This is literally just as easy as, you know, connecting your podcast to the library. It's a few clicks of a button and it's all set up. So what we're gonna do is we come here to apps. Once again, we click on Searchy Wisdom and we click new. We're going to do podcast chatbot right? Real, original, you can name it whatever you would like. Now we have created this plugin. Now all we have to do is connect it to your podcast content. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to click content and we can select the folder that we want to include in this. So this is the marketing your business podcast. So we're going to select that. We are going to add that there and we're going to click save. Just like that, you have now connected all of your podcast content that you've ever created, that you've uploaded into this, it's all connected to the chatbot, and that AI is now 
a master of your content. In order to turn this into a lead generating machine, like we talked about, you're gonna click the button right below here now, collect leads. You can see this is default set to off. You can turn this on just like that. And then you can also enter a welcome message here. This would be good to let people know, you know, what they're gonna be getting for entering their name and email. So get answers to any questions you've ever had about any episode in my 200 plus podcast. You can be creative with this. Enter your info below to get started. And so there it has a little description. They can see, you know, get answers to any questions you've ever had. That's pretty crazy. Enter your info below to get started. Okay, now that is on, we click save. Okay, and in addition to, you know, setting this stuff up, you can name this something else. You can add a little picture here. You can add a background image. All of that can be done. Uh, below in the settings here, you've got a description, the profile, and then you can also adjust the styling too. So if you want, you know, different colors, you want that background image, you can do all that stuff to make it, you know, a little prettier, a little more on brand, all of that good stuff, right? But the nuts and bolts are done here. You've imported your podcast content to the library and you've created your chatbot and connected that chatbot to your podcast content. All right, so the third step of these three simple steps, You've just got to share it now. There's two ways that you can go about sharing it. You've got the direct URL here. So you click that. This is how it's going to look to a new member. If I open up a new incognito tab, I go to that same page. Okay, they're still going to be able to ask a question here. What is the meaning of life? You can ask the question and then it automatically brings up this prompt, enter your email, enter your name and submit. Once they submit that, then it will generate the response for them, give them the referenced answers, all of that good stuff. So that is the direct URL link. That is probably gonna be the easiest for most people. But if you're someone who already has a searchy hub, or if you have a personal website that you want to embed this nice little chat bot in, have this little floating chat thing here that can pop up in and out like that, you just click the embed here, copy this code, paste it into your site, and it'll be set up just like this, okay? And then you'll have your little pop-up thing. You can even change like the icon that shows up down there and all kinds of cool stuff, right? You can customize it however you'd like. So now that that's set up, at the end of each episode, you can let your listeners know that they can ask questions and get answers from any episode in your entire podcast library, which is pretty incredible. And there's some other great places you could share this in the podcast episode notes or show description, you could link to it or on a podcast web page. And you know, I'll link this article down in the description below where you can check out you know, why every podcaster needs a podcast website and how to create yours with Searchy. It's very quick and easy to go about this. You could also you know, share this on social media, right? So you could link to this, you could share you know, little snippets of your podcast, little clips and things like that and let people know that if they have questions, they can actually go to your brand new chatbot you set up and get answers from any of the episodes that you've ever had before. So it's super, super powerful and it's gonna help you really generate more leads for your business to build your email list, but also provide a lot more value to your listeners, right? If you have hundreds of episodes and you're teaching, you know, some amazing content in your podcast, it can be hard for people to get through everything and kind of remember everything that you cover. So by offering this, it gives people a chance to kind of go back and ask questions and get answers from, you know, hundreds of episodes that, you know, they could be potentially covered in. If you're ready to put this into action for yourself, just click the link below and you can get started with a free trial today. Of course, this only helps get them to your digital doorstep. If you don't have a complete sales funnel set up, so you have a system to take full advantage of the new lead generating machine, and turn your passion into profits, then you're gonna wanna watch this video where I walk you through the five steps to create a wildly successful sales funnel for your business. Be sure to subscribe for more helpful videos just like this coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one.